Okay. Good morning, professor, guests. Uh, this is my presentation about my research. <clears throat> the name of the research is the social constructed perceptions of students on their intrinsic motivation to participate in writing tasks in a secondary EFL context. Okay, so what you need to know about this and the background information is that this study was carried out in Colegio Marella, located in Puente Alto, uh, in an eighth, ninth grade, which was composed by 23 women and 22 men, which is a 45 classroom. The situated background. In this um, in, in internship, I was able to see that in the lessons there were no clue about what the students' perceptions were in the, regarding to the intrinsic motivation in writing tasks. So this is also a portrait in the deficiencies in knowledge, which is clearly stated in the political background. <clears throat> the United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization, or UNESCO, says that oh, they have provided an annotated approach to the topic by considering motivation as a factor that can be achieved through the usage of mobile devices since this can improve students' motivation in learning processes because of the flexibility and possibilities that learners own to move at their own pace in learning, which was provided in 2013. This shows us that there are no uh, theory that talks about students' perceptions in their TC motivation regarding, in this case, in the writing task. So moving to the social background, as stated by Basavi, the actual feature that affected motivation was the social environment that is beneficial to the learner by creating identity with other students rather than the reasons students may have to learn a second language on the method or the methodology used by the teacher. So this, this talks about a positive environment rather than the, <clears throat> than the reasons that students have or not to engage in a, in a task. So, going to the empirical background, considering the definition provided by Ahmed in 2014, citing Dornier from 2005, and narrowing a broad explanation in the language learning field to a process engaged by a need and followed by an by individual's behavior towards achieving a goal. So, this is talking about motivation. <clears throat> it says that um, it's a process driven by a need and followed by individual's behavior. And the theoretical background, uh, through a constructivist approach, we can see that although every people act differently, driven to personal motivational acts, these acts are driven under specific contexts and environments. So, taking that into account, we can see that in the English classroom, all students have the same context, or should have the same context. Okay, the research, the research question. What is the social constructive perceptions of students on their intrinsic motivation to participate in writing tasks in a secondary context in an EFL class? Okay, so um, the objectives from these uh, research questions are that <clears throat> is to interpret students' social constructive perceptions on their intrinsic motivation to participate in writing tasks in an English as a foreign language <clears throat> class. <clears throat> okay, and the specific uh, objectives are to categorize students' perceptions to observe students' participation in writing tasks and analyze intrinsic motivation. The, the research assumptions driven by this uh, research question and objectives are firstly, it is expected that students' perceptions about their intrinsic motivation is negative or low because, because of the task do not attempt to fulfill their interest. The, uh, so <clears throat> it is uh, possible to say that the, the tasks are not uh, related to their needs. Secondly, it is contemplated that students' participation in writing tasks is conducted by their extrinsic motivation rather than intrinsic motivation because they, are, they have great tasks. So they, they do the task by the, by the sake of getting a good grade and passing the subject. Theoretical framework. <coughs> motivation, according to Brown 2007, explained how motivation is the most common term to explain the success or failure in a complex task. We have to know that motivation is a large topic which uh, is subdivided in four categories which are extrinsic motivation, intrinsic motivation, integrity motivation and um, instrumental motivation. But in this time we are going to focus on intrinsic motivation for the sake of the research. 
38, 2014, claims that intrinsic motivation is one member of the duality in between extrinsic and intrinsic motivation. And refers at it by the act of behaving for the sake of the person's pleasure or satisfaction. So, taking this to the context, students should, should feel pleasure or, satis or satisfaction when uh, going in a task or in a written task. EFL classroom. An EFL classroom defined by Oxford University Press ELT in 2011 is a classroom where students share the same culture and the same mother tongue, which is not the L2. So, in this case, it's not English. Writing task. According to Onin and Bravois, 2017, writing is a process with multiple stages and <clears throat> all of them are important. Um, the pre and, the and the stages of writing are uh, enable the um, <clears throat> uh, help to improve the staging the, the writing stages. Methodology, <clears throat> the paradigm. <clears throat> In this case, an intended interpretive study is with, uh, was conducted. According to Ornikowski and Marudi, 1990. The focus of interpretive research is to understand how members of a social group, through their participation in social processes, enact their particular realities to endow them with meaning, and to show how these meanings, beliefs, and intentions of the members help to constitute their social action. The approach, according to Fernandez Hernandez and Baptista, 2014, qualitative research aims to understand phenomena exploring the participants' perspective in a natural environment and in relation to their context. So in this case, uh, the, the natural context is the English class because they have to face it all over the year. The design, <coughs> the design, <coughs> an already design, as stated by Hernandez and Nancy Batista, 2014, can be defined as a design that tries to understand a succession of events, situations, phenomena, where thoughts, feelings, and interactions are involved um, through, the, through the experiences told by the participants. So why an already design? Because uh, in this case, the research question says about uh, the perceptions of students, and that can be the, that can be connected also to the approach and the paradigm. Because um, I have to retrieve perceptions of the students, and to do that, I have uh, I conducted an interview, which will be uh, explained later. <coughs> Procedure. First, I carry out observation in order, in order to identify a, a problem or phenomenon. Then I recorded field notes regarding the phenomenon, which is the perceptions of the students about their interesting motivation in an EFL classroom in writing tasks. Then I conduct, I, I created an interview that will be um, carried out next term. And then the triangulation of matrix matrices from the observations, the field notes, and the interview. The subjects are taken uh, out of the 45 students, only, um, only, 10 will be, uh, um, uh, only 10 will be interviewed going by a process of, um, of selection from, the, from, the, the, from their grades. The research materials, as already said to, to you, are the interview and the, um, and the field notes. Field notes can be understood as annotations made by res the, research, the researcher of events that are related to the research itself and according to Hernandez Fernandez and Baptista, it is very necessary to, to, to keep records and prepare annotations during events of or events related to the approach. <coughs> interview. Hernandez Fernandez and Baptista, 2014, defines interview as a meeting to discuss and exchange information between one person, the interviewer, and another, the interviewee. Okay, this is a proposed type analysis techniques. First, the categorization of field notes, which um, brings you uh, the, the observation that you did. So, in this case, the student works to improve his language proficiency without, without being told by any teacher. This is related to motivation, and the subcategory is intrinsic motivation, giving you the call I am. <laughs> and the categorization of the interview, which is the other um, data connection material, <clears throat> is really to understand that the interview, which is the other data collection material of the narrative design will be used to tell a narrative, and, the, and that narrative will be analyzed to fulfill the purpose of the study. According to Fernandez, Fernandez and Baptista, narrative designs focus on the succession of events, situations, phenomena, processes, and events where thoughts, feelings, and emotions and interactions are involved. So, in this case, um, 
the interviewee and tells you their, their beliefs and their perceptions. In this case, it uh, could be. Yo creo, yo creo que me va mal porque solo estudio así que los trabajos son con notas. This is very, uh, this is not uh, real. This is, uh, this could be one of the answers. So the open code would be students' perceptions toward their motivation, and the code would be SPTM. Then the triangulation, you take uh, into account the two uh, data collection materials, and the, uh, the first code, which was IM, the intrinsic motivation, and the second one, SPT, SPTM, students' perception towards motivation. So it can be stated that students in classrooms might engage or not in certain activities because of certain. Um, Results, results that will be addressed next term. <coughs> Trustworthiness. <coughs> credibility. In films, according to Hernandez Fernandez and Bautista, credibility refers to whether the research has grasped the full or entire meaning of the experiences of the participants related to the problem. So in this case, the researcher has the, uh, has the duty to, uh, to observe and to, and to record every interaction or everything that happens inside the internship. Transferability. Taking part of the study or its essence to be successfully applied in other contexts, not generalizing. So in this case, um, this, this, this study can be taken to another context, taking the, um, the main, not, not taking the main idea, but taking into account all, all things that compound it. Dependability. Involved in the research attempts to record the changing conditions of their observations and research, research design using the same procedure. So if you want to carry out this and, and have the same uh, results, you have to take care of the same procedure. <coughs> Confirmability. Linked to demonstrating that we have minimized the researchers' bias and tendencies by the proper use of field notes and checking with participants. So in this case, field notes and their interview are really important and the transcription of both. Also, <coughs> expected outcomes. Okay, <coughs> the contributions in Agustiniak, Abels, Guilford, Dujan, Corkwright, and in Vicario's work in 2016, increasing motivation is deeply aimed towards learning about one's main psychological needs by engaging in enjoyable, interesting, or important activities. Thus, intrinsic, uh, intrinsic motivation will be understood as the act of learning by internal reasons. In that way, the, contribution, the contributions from this um, research will be the emphasis on students, uh, putting emphasis to, on students' perceptions when facing an activity, that, because that dwells with um, efficiency in knowledge, and foster intrinsic rather than extrinsic motivation when facing a writing task. <coughs> Metacognitive analysis. <coughs> so, the insights on the teacher's role as a researcher and reflective practitioner. In the internship, uh, this was uh, one of the main issues because there, as a researcher, I had to face uh, some several issues with the format and the APA rules, which are kind of a, a weakness from the from part of the research. <coughs> and in case of the internship, the, um, the f I was motivated because of the um, <coughs> because of the the fact that I was going to make a change in in theory because theory does not dwell with the student perceptions. And um, the challenges that I face are uh, related to um, time management and being organized with my time to carry out uh, such a research, which is very big. <clears throat> and here are the references. Okay, thank you, Marco. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.